I just got a bunch of stuff from Abercrombie, but instead of sending me the cute silk blouse that I ordered, they actually sent me two giant Sherpa coats. Um, so if you're missing your Sherpa coats, they're at my house, but let's get into the haul. Today I want to share what I ordered and received in the mail from Abercrombie recently. At the end of the video, I do also want to share with you guys an item that I bought quite a while back from Abercrombie, but they still sell it and I wear it honestly almost every day. First up is this cozy long sleeve Henley. It's so soft and I love the neckline of it, but it is shorter than I expected it to be. And I think with the slits on the side, it's too short to be front tucked or tucked all the way around. And I do really like to wear my shirts that way instead. So I don't know if this one is a winner for me, but really cute. The next thing I want to share with you is really just the bodysuit version of the last top. It is the long sleeve cozy Henley bodysuit. It's made out of the same super soft fabric, very comfortable with a versatile neckline with those buttons, long stretchy sleeves, but I was having some issues with gaping in the buttons. So I don't know if I love it just because of that. If I like bent over or slouched, there would be a little bit of gaping in the buttons. I would definitely not feel comfortable without wearing something under it. The next top I wanna to share with you is the long sleeve seamless fabric corset bodysuit. It's very cute with a classic look, almost an historic inspired. I love it with a corsetry and also with the square neckline. It's very Renaissance. The fabric is really stretchy, but also a little bit controlling. It's kind of nice to have that extra security with a bodysuit keeping you slimmed down all the way into your pants. For me, it fit a little bit weird on the shoulders. I almost felt like I needed to size down a little bit. So I'm between an extra small and a small usually. So with bodysuits, I'm typically sizing up into a small, but this one, I think I would have been better off in an extra small, just going with that true size. Also, I did feel like this bodysuit needed the strapless bra. I thought my straps might show for the other bras. And so because of that, I could actually see my bra in the back. So if you had a nicer strapless bra, this probably wouldn't be an issue, but mine is a little bit thick and it really did show the bra lines like crazy. So that's just something else to keep in mind. Next up is the Essentials Long Sleeve Waffle Top in Golden Brown. I love the color of this. The neckline is great. The cuffs are magnificent. The length is good. It's just long enough to front tuck, but it's still more of a cropped length. It's a great texture and it has a classic look for the winter. It's 60% cotton and 40% polyester, and it also comes in white. The next one is the Lux Loft Wrap Sweater Bodysuit. There is one thing I don't like about this sweater bodysuit, and that's just that the neckline is a tad lower than I wish it was. It's not so wide that I can't wear regular bras, so that is really nice, but I do have to be really careful which bras I wear with it. And I also have to be careful how much I bend over. So that is just something to keep in mind. If you have a toddler like me, this might not be worth it for you, but I do still feel like it's worth it for me. I love this bodysuit. It has limited availability right now, but it does come in white, black, and dark pink, as well as the gray that I got. Next up is the long sleeve seamless rib fabric Henley. Can you tell I really wanted to get some Henleys out of this order? I was like, I'm just gonna order them all and try them on and see what works. This one is very stretchy. I love how the snaps look, but the fabric is a little bit clingy and it's a little bit too short to style tucked in or even front tucked. The next one is another sweater. This is the long sleeve slim scoop neck sweater. I love how this looked. It is a really nice material and a beautiful creamy color. And it comes in a lot of colors online. They have burgundy, black, light brown, a pretty green color and white and pink. This is the long sleeve cozy scoop neck bodysuit in brown. And I know I just said I didn't love the scoop neck, but I did decide to keep this one because it is so extremely soft. And I actually ended up loving this color. I really like the brown color. 
It almost has pink undertones and I was just really into it. I don't usually pick brown colors. I'm definitely more of a grayscale fan, but I really loved the color on this and just how luxuriously soft it was. One thing to note with this is the neckline does stretch as you wear it because it is such a stretchy material. When I first put it on, I feel like it's the perfect amount of scoop and I don't need to wear anything under it. But I found that then throughout the day, the neckline seems to get lower and lower and lower. So I have started wearing a special bralette under it that just goes across and there's just like a black modesty panel. And that has actually worked out really great for me. The next item is actually the one that I was most excited for when I placed this order, and that is the Long Sleeve Hook and Eye Henley Bodysuit in Olive. I love this olive color. It's so pretty, and I think the Hook and Eye Henley is such a unique take on that traditional style. Like I said, I really wanted to get a Henley shirt out of this, but I was a little bit disappointed to find that there isn't any sort of paneling behind the hook and eyes. So you can clearly see between the hook and eyes where the fabric doesn't join together. And that means I would have to wear something under it in order to feel comfortable. And I just kind of didn't want to bother. Also, this fabric seemed a little bit more structured and thick than some of the other fabrics from Abercrombie. Now that being said, it's still a great top and it would still be a fabulous addition to any wardrobe. And it also comes in taupe and black and white so you can get some neutral options in there as well. In the winter, I go crazy for anything cable knit, especially if it's like a white or creamy, cozy, soft, and this sweater absolutely fits that bill. This is the fluffy cable crew sweater in white. I love the pattern. I love the color. It's very soft, very cute. The boxy billowy arms are very on trend and very in style right now. I personally felt like it was a little bit too oversized for my taste, so I did go ahead and order the extra extra small as well, and I did like that a little bit better. So if you're like me and you're not into the super oversized look and you just want it to be a little bit boxy, you might want to consider sizing down in this one. Here's another sweater that fulfills my cozy winter dreams, and this one is the checkerboard stitch notch neck sweater in white. And I really like how unique this sweater is while still being totally neutral and versatile. The checkerboard pattern as well as the collar give it a really vintage look to it. But then again, that boxy oversized look is also very on trend right now. I actually kind of liked this sweater better. It was just as oversized as the last one. You have that boxy oversized shape but it's really balanced out by showing a little bit more around the neckline with that notch neck style. The next piece is this long sleeve zip polo top. And I really love this piece because it manages to be both very unique and very versatile. It has the traditional polo collar, which goes really well with the vintage style stuff. But then it also has this very modern invisible zipper that you can zip all the way up or all the way down to just below the bust line. It also has long cozy sleeves. That's a trend with all of this stuff. All very long sleeves that come down past your knuckles if you want them to. It's a very stretchy, cozy ribbed fabric, but it's still 95% cotton, which is... I have been styling this quite a bit recently in several different ways. I've worn it just regular with jeans and a tank bodysuit underneath. I've worn it in a more athleisure sort of way. And I've also worn it under more of a workwear style dress that had straps instead of sleeves. And I wanted it to have a long sleeve shirt underneath. And so I actually used this in place of like a traditional button up. And I really loved the way that that looked as well. The next piece I want to share with you is the long sleeve cotton seamless scoop neck bodysuit. 
And I really liked this one because it was 95% cotton and it does have that really smooth look to it that Abercrombie is so good at. The one thing I didn't really love about this that made me pick some other bodysuits over it was that the fabric seemed a little bit more restrictive. So it wasn't quite as soft and stretchy as some of the other ones, which you would expect with 95% cotton, but I feel like they have so many other pieces that have that much cotton in them and are really flexible and stretchy and deliciously soft. So I was a little bit disappointed with the fabric texture of this one, but if you prefer more of a firmer, more structured fabric, then this might be perfect for you. Here is the cotton seamless fabric body tank in green. And I have some of the seamless body tanks in other colors, but this green one is made of a ribbed fabric instead. So it's a little bit different than the other seamless fabric tanks that they have on their website. And I actually didn't realize that when I was ordering it. I'm not a huge fan of ribbed fabric in a tank style. It just gives gangster a tiny bit. I was not impressed with the feel or the look of the fabric for this one. So I really wish that they had this green color in the regular seamless fabric because this color is gorgeous, but I just wasn't loving the ribbed fabric in the tank bodysuit. The last bodysuit I wanna share with you guys is actually the one that I'm wearing right now. I wear this one all the time. I love this bodysuit. It's 95% cotton, but still buttery, soft, luxuriously smooth and stretchy with the long sleeves and the square neckline is just gorgeous. I think a square neckline is so flattering on so many different people. And I love wearing this in so many different styles. I wear it with skirts, I wear it with jeans, I wear it with anything and it just looks so good in all the different styles and genres but having that square neckline does make it a little bit more special it's not like your typical crew or your typical v-neck and i just love the elevated look that it gives okay we're almost to my favorite item that i want to share with you guys but before we get there i wanted to just show you i got this two pack of these henley tanks and I got a black and a white, and I'm not wearing, obviously these are super cropped, a little bit skimpy, but what I do is I wear these to sleep, and I really love them for that, kind of in place of a sleeping bralette or something like that. I don't like to wear a ton of bulk when I'm in bed, but something like this is really great to keep me cool, but also when I have to run and get up, early in the morning to get my baby out of bed. I still feel covered and supported. And um, yeah, these are bomb for sleeping. I also ordered two pairs of jeans from Abercrombie. They're actually the same jean, but in two different washes. It is the ultra high rise ankle straight in the curve love fit. And I absolutely loved these in store when I tried them on but they didn't have the washes that I wanted. I really wanted a non-distressed wash and they only had the ones with rips in the knees. So I thought, oh, that's fine, I'll just order it. And I took pictures in the dressing room and I went home and I ordered it with all this other stuff. And um, I just don't know anymore. The pair of jeans I have now are mom jeans and they're super ripped and kind of wearing out, which is why I wanted to get another pair and I wanted one without distressing. But these ones, now that I'm trying them on, I did get the short. I feel like they're a little bit too short, definitely too short to cuff. I also feel like they're a little bit wider than I'm used to. And I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing because I think they look great. They look super stylish. I really like them. I love them in both washes. I got the gray wash and then I also got the medium wash. So comment below what you think and cast your vote because I am just not sure if these are my soulmate jeans or if I need to keep looking. If you made it this far, wow. Thank you so much. Now, what I want to do is show you this, which is my favorite ever purchase from Abercrombie. And they don't look like much, but these seamless tank bodysuits 
This is the two pack of the black and white. These are probably the most worn item in my entire closet, other than of course like my jeans that I wear every single day. I wear these under all my sweaters. I wear these as regular shirts in the summertime. I wear these under some of my dresses. If I have a crop top that's showing midriff, I will just pop one of these underneath and problem solved. If I put my hands up, nothing's showing. They are so comfortable and they have withstood the test of time too. I love these tanks. So anyway, I just wanted to make a plug for those because they've changed my life for the better and I hope they can change somebody else's life out there as well.